What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pro Picks with Diaz Show. I'm your host, Mr. P.L. Coach, alongside the star of the show, Mr. Diaz. What's up, player? What's going on? Man? All right, all right, all right. Hey, I'm coming to you live from the city of Mesquite, Texas, in the plush palace, looking at a 200-inch screen TV, full HD, and uh, looks like Oregon is laying a smackdown on Arizona State. Any guess on who this got to? I took Oregon, man. First half. And for the game. We're not going to talk dollar signs here, but let's just say this man's future so bright, he got to keep his shades on at night. You know what? But it's not just about us. We want to help you wear your shades tonight, too, because uh, this guy here got the goods, you know. He's the guy who broke Vegas, but we digress. Now, what we do here is uh, uh, Mr. Diaz gives you the hot, latest, greatest picks for the NFL season. Plus, we like to throw in our question of the week from our Twitter fans. And this week, hey, you, you got another Twitter fan here this week. Okay. You're, you're, hey, you, you, you trimmed up? You ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to rock Looking and roll. Looking a little Hollywood there? I'm ready to rock and hey, roll. Hey, hey, let's give the people what they want, all right? Let's go. All right. Now, we're going to start off with Santana in North Dallas. Hey, what's up, Tizzle? Thanks for checking out. Thanks for tweeting the show. All right. Hey, Carlos, my beloved Spartans play the Michigan Wolverines on Saturday. Will we be uh, making it five in a row against uh, the Wolverines? No. No. Too much dinar, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way this show is starting. Uh, sorry, Santana. Too much dinar, Robinson. Too much maize and blue. The Spartans streak ends on Saturday. But hey, we certainly do thank you for. I like it. I like that. Hey, we certainly do thank you for checking out the show and for tweeting us. And we want you to stick around for the pro pick section because we know you're an NFL fan as well. And just like a lot of you out there that want to pick your pool, but you're kind of unsure on certain teams because you're a homer and you only watch your team on TV. But this guy right here, he's got, I wish, I literally mean this is a 200 <laughs> inch screen TV, but he's very humble. We digress. All right. So um, if you're wondering if Dallas can bounce back against Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers, I can help you with that. This guy can help you with that. Hey, are you wondering if uh, Houston can finally beat Baltimore? I can help you with that. This guy can help you with that. Or uh, are you a little unsure on who to pick in the Monday night matchup? I can definitely help you with that. He can definitely help you with that. Hey, hey, people, can you can you help me with something? What? Can you help can you help me send you <laughs> one of these? <laughs> Oh, you gonna trump my T-shirt? Hey, this guy's arrogant. He's brash. He keeps on winning. Somebody beat this guy this week, so I can send you one of these because last week he beat me again. But we're gonna keep this show rolling, all right? All right, you ready to get into week seven? Let's do it. Let's rock and roll. All right, so we're gonna start this off with Cleveland at Indianapolis to take on the Colts. Carlos, who you got? I got the Colts. No luck for the Browns. No luck for the Browns. Wait, hey, you know the. Colts have one of the best passing defenses in the league. They actually ranked third. Most people would know that. And Cleveland, they got more interceptions than anybody in the league. Uh, you might want to circle I and D on your pick and pull. Moving along. All right, we have Green Bay, who put up an impressive performance last yeah. week. Hey, they're going uh, to St. Louis to take on the Rams. Carlos, who you got? Easy Green Bay. Is this, is this one of your locks Easy, for the week? Easy Green Bay. Hey, hey he Green has every Bay. reason <laughs> to pick Green, Green Bay. Bay. They won the last three games over the Rams. 93-34. to 34. Whoa. Beat down City. Whoa. You want to circle G dot, B dot. Whoa. And in one of those games, he scored more than 34 points. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> game they scored more than 34 points. You want to circle them on your pick and pool, and uh, you're off and rolling. All right, moving on. All right, Carlos, don't, don't start nothing. Okay. And it won't be nothing, man. We're at this point of the show. All right. All right. We got my beloved Tennessee Titans going to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Carlos, who you got? Who's the starting QB? Uh, for uh, Tennessee? That will be Matt Hasselbeck be starting again this week. How old is he? I don't know, 40-ish? <laughs> When you when you lose the, the the dome piece, it's kind of hard to tell. Everybody looks like forty when you lose the the the, the top piece. I'm there. rolling with the Bills. You're going with the Bills. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I have to roll with the Bills. Okay. Just because. Just because what? The quarterback. Just because of the quarterback. Yes. Hey, I'm going T N on this. Hey, whoa, whoa. but you know what? I'm not the expert. So what you want to do is you want to circle B U F on your pick em pool. Was this forty like a six five? Well, wow, really? And that's 
Maybe not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going there. Really? All right, moving on in a hurry. Now we have the Arizona Cardinals going into Minneapolis to take on the Vikings. Cardinals, who you got? Got Minnesota and Ponder at home. Adrian Peterson, too much. Minnesota at Percy home. Percy Harvin? Hey, Percy Harvin has been an absolute beast. He's a yes, bona fide sir. all-star for a pro bowler this year. Yes, sir. Talking football. But uh, one more thing you want to consider with that. Arizona has a league worst 28 sacks. Who plays for Minnesota? Jared. Allen, all oh, this might get ugly. Ladies and gentlemen, he might get five sacks in this game alone. You want to circle M I N in the first quarter. Oh, <laughs> in the first quarter? In the first quarter. All right, and if he does that, you definitely want to circle M I N on your pick and pull. All right, moving along. We have the Washington Redskins uh, facing the New York Giants. Carlos, who you got? I like the Giants, but I'm root for Washington. P. Right on. Uh, one of our one of our comrades uh, just recently passed away. Hey, R.I.P. Big Kev, Dahar Redskins fan. Hey, we all Redskins fans this weekend for you, Big Kev. Hey, save us a seat at the big table. All right, y'all want to circle W S H on your pickle pool? Save me one too. Hey man, it's, hey, it's a it's a combo thing, man. You know, do they have a two for twenty in heaven? I don't know. <laughs> no, sure. Hey, moving on in a hurry. I haven't been there. <laughs> Thank. you. God, uh, this will be a whole different type of show. All right, Carlos, we're moving right along here. We got the New Orleans Saints at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, this series is tied 4-4 four and four after the last eight games. Who breaks the tie this Sunday? New Orleans wins. Yeah. With that one, New Orleans finally got a, a win in the win column. Tampa Bay just not sold on the offense, not really sold on that. You want to circle N.O. on your pick and pull. And Talib's in trouble again. What what else? Is, Corner, their cornerback. What else is new, Carlos? That's not. That's not that's, yeah. That's, yeah, I'm just that's saying. That's not breaking he, news. He's a good. He's a good cornerback, but he's in trouble. He he, he's Delonte West of the NFL. You know what? We are gonna move on in a hurry. All right, we have the Baltimore Ravens traveling to our great state of Texas to take on the Houston Texans. Now the Texans have never beat the Baltimore Ravens since they moved to Baltimore. On six, do they get off the schneid this week, Carlos? I'm going to go ahead and go with Houston, man. You're going with Houston? Even though I don't like Houston, I'm going to go with Houston. Nah, nah I hate Houston as, a, as a, a Titans fan, but it's not about us. We want you to win your pick and pool so you can have your flip the shades down and all that. Maybe if they lose, they will file for Chapter 11 and move somewhere else to Tennessee. Again. That's the, No, we don't, need, we don't need them to move to Tennessee. We got us a team. We can move them to uh, Canada or something. Canada, really? All right, we're going we gonna to keep the show moving in a hurry. Now, the one matchup that you definitely want to look at this weekend when those two teams hook up is the, the running game. I mean, the Houston Texans, one of the top seven teams in rushing offense. Baltimore Ravens has given up over 200-yard rushing for the first time in back-to-back -back games in their franchise history. You want to circle H-O-U on your pick em pool. Move right along. Uh-oh, Homer Tom. We have the Dallas Cowboys going to Carolina to face the Cam Newtons. Carlos, who uh, you got? I got Dallas Cowboys. You're going with the Cowboys. Hey, he's going with yes, the home sir. pick. Now, Dallas has won the last eight regular season games against Carolina and the last four in Charlotte. Where's the game? In Charlotte? You might want to circle D-A-L on your pick and pull. They actually played pretty good last week. They, Red Jesus, you... You on a, on a banana peel play, you might be out of here. All right, moving right along, though. All right, we have the Tim Tebow's going to face the Barbie Brady's. That will be the Jets versus New England for those who have been watching the show. So, Carlos, who you got in the 3 o'clock matchup? I'm taking Ken, baby. Ken, the Barbie doll. <laughs> hey, no, check it out. Now, y'all know he's been calling this man Barbie with the comb back. The, the man has finally got some cojones, and you're calling him Ken. I think that's progress. But you're going to quit this in my Michigan quarterback. <laughs> We're going to move right along, though. Hey, the Patriots have dominated this series the last three games, outscoring them 112 to 40. Yeah, you might want to circle N dot E dot on your pick and pull. And speaking of that, why does their coach uh, keep antagonizing the, the New England Patriots? It leads to a beatdown every single time. Why? why? You know, we gonna... I mean, you guys get. He, he he just likes a little he butt woman every, yeah. every now and then. Just that as he likes it. that woodshed. Yeah, you know what? We are gonna keep this show rolling. All right, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars 
Uh, taking a trip out west to face the Oakland Raiders. Carlos, who you got? Too much McFadden. And uh, go ahead and sign over the first pick to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, you saying they're going to finish the worst team in the league? Or worst record. Worst record in the league. Uh, you know what? They're, they're actually record. heading there. I mean, if you want to talk about worst, they worst in the league in points per game, worst in the league in yards per game, worst in the league in defensive sacks, and 25th in points allowed. Get out of here, Jacksonville. What are y'all doing? And Jones Drew ain't coming back. Oh, let's not forget they're last in the NFL in rushing touchdowns, and they have Maurice Jones Drew, who held out all summer for absolutely <laughs> nothing. What are you doing? He, he could have at least got a haircut on the interview. <laughs> I didn't see the interview. Was he not? Yeah, it was. Uh... Man, he can say this because this is a perfectly taped up fade here. You know, it just kind of. I mean, I know you lost about 200000 200, but. Right, but 10, haircuts up. They still about 10, 15 bucks. 15, 20 bucks won't hurt, man. And Especially you can go on TV. I mean, I mean he did. Sit out all summer and got absolutely zilch. I mean, well, I mean, maybe he's trying to disguise himself. Gonna go full beard and all that. Good, maybe not. Trying to say give him some money or something. I mean, hey, you got it. Hey, you just whooped up on. You know what? And as we speak, uh, I think Oregon just scored again. Yes, we do come to you live. All right, moving on to the Sunday night game. We have the Pittsburgh Steelers going to the Cincinnati Bengals. Carlos, who you got? At the Pittsburgh Steelers, Big Ben. Just don't get on the bike before the game. And stay out of the restaurant bathrooms, Big Ben. We, yes, sir. But we totally digress and going to move on from that in a hurry. Yes, sir. Now, Pittsburgh, I think they have two home stadiums. They have Crimes Field, and then they got the, the stadium in Cincinnati because they won 10 out of the last 11 there. Yeah. The game is in Cincinnati. Yeah. If you don't circle PIT on your pick and pull, you're doing it wrong, all right? And last but certainly not least, Mr. Carlos, we have the Detroit Lions at the Chicago Bears on Monday night. Who you got? I got Chicago. They're going to win, 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 and they're going to fall off at the end. You think they're going to fall off at the yeah, end? Yeah. Hey, they're rolling right now, and it's right. Far, that's right now. Well, you did kind of say at the end. Uh, but at the end of the season, they're going to just... Well, Monday they facing the Lions team if they won seven out of the last eight. And Lovey Smith, man, he gets it done on Monday night. They're eight and two in his Monday night career. I mean, they win this one, but that's it. Bottom line, I, you know what? I think that's a little Monday night. You know a little bit about. He was at that Monday night game, ladies and gentlemen. I was uh, a little mad. And uh, I think he had a couple of off, uh, offsides, but we, we digress. You want to circle CHI on your pick and pull. All right, now, this concludes week seven of the Pro Picks with DS show. And you know how to reach us each week. You can reach me on Twitter at PL Culture. That's at P L C O L T E R. You can reach the star of the show, Mr. DS, at CDS214. That's at CDS214. Four. Hey, you know how we close each show. Life is a sport, so always play to win. RIP to your big Kev. To the rest of you, good luck and good night. Good night.